Hi drummers, hope you're well. Just a bit of fun today. This is three great drum fills for ska music. I'll play them for you quickly now. Number one. Here we go. Number two. And number three. Uh, just random little fun Scar drum fills to get you going. Shout out to all the channel members you've asked about at Scar fills. Now, just to be super clear, the Scar we're talking about here, or I'm talking about here, is the second wave or two-tone uh, revival Scar that was popular in Britain, uh, in particular in the late 1970s, early 1980s. It has a really uh, special place in my heart, this music, because it just the very first songs I remember actually dancing around to and singing to when I was really, really little were honestly Bad Manners and um, like Madness songs in particular. So it's that era, we're talking late 70s, early 80s, and now it was, actually it was revival of the original Jamaican sound, of course, which was... 1950s 1960s and the the original scar which was like a precursor to reggae music even uh, the name scar i believe comes from the offbeat guitar scut scut and that was the original sound and then in like i said late 70s 80s of course you had the sort of british scar revival which was uh, obviously borrowed hugely from those from that original jamaican era but then fused the sound with the sort of more modern like punk rock, basically, like harder edged rock sound of the day. There was, there was, there is also, excuse me, a third wave of ska, so called, uh, which is more of an American type of sound. And I believe that's sort of 1990s onwards, band like, bands like uh, No Doubt and Mighty Mighty Boss Tones and, and bands like that. Um, I'm in particular here thinking about that second wave, uh, the British ska or two tone, as it's often referred to. And um, yeah, like I say, bands like Selector. Uh, the beat, specials, of course, madness, uh, bad manners, uh, and so on. So these are just random examples. The first one is quite a general one that I just use all over the place. I'm actually got, I've got a couple of great uh, gigs coming up with brilliant ska bands around where I live, which I love playing with. So um, just such an amazing, like, joyous, brilliant, like, release of a style of music to play. It's just amazing. I think this particular thing is just so, it's just kind of so British. This mixture of punk rock. And that original Jamaican ska sound, it's, it's an amazing thing. And um, yeah, so the first one is just the general one. The second one is not exactly, but inspired by the beginning of Too Much Too Young by the specials and the, or the, the specials version of it. And then the third one is inspired by the start of Bad Manners, uh, Sally Brown. And they're just, these are just random examples, random place, places to start. I'm not going to deal here with the grooves. I'll do another video about that sometime. Uh, you find yourself playing all sorts of grooves, honestly, in a ska band. Uh, most of which have some kind of, well, early reggae, ska, original ska feel to them. Uh, the most common thing in a in this era of ska music is probably a punk rock style 4-4 four, four beat, honestly, something like this. And it usually has either very insistent uh, eighth notes, all the same level, or it some, sometimes, quite often, will have an offbeat feel like emphasizing the offbeats um, you might also find yourself opening and closing the hi-hat a bit like disco uh, you also find yourself playing lots of other sorts of feels like a 16th note feel Something like Ghost Town by The Specials has that kind of 16th note or maybe you describe it as a halftime feel. Uh, other times you're playing like a more upbeat quarter note feel, often with some sort of eighth note swing going on. If you think of Bad Man as his version of uh, My Girl Lollipop or tons of tunes like that. Uh, or things like... Um, Jackie Wilson said, uh, no, it's not, it was technically a ska band, but Dexie's Midnight Runners version of Jackie Wilson said, and then often you find yourself playing a shuffle, honestly, as well, either regular time. Like uh, the song Twice by the Scud Scados, Scados, um, and sometimes a halftime shuffle type of feel as well.
like I said, perhaps I'll do a video about scar this era of scar like grooves and like the sort of variety of grooves you need up your sleeve in that. But here, just these three drum fills. Now, the first fill is going to be real simple. Ba 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 ba. This is absolutely one of my go-to fills when playing scar music. Three e and a four and simple as that. So let's play it with a straight eights, four on the floor feel. You can make it sound a bit more scar by perhaps putting a little drag at the start. So two little grace notes with the other stick. Say that you're right-handed and you're going right, left, right, left, right, left. How about a little bounce double with the left just to set that up? The first one as simple as that, three E and a four and. So if you're playing groove, you'd play the groove for one and two and, and you'd come in with three E and a four and. Number one, like I say, just a great general use fill. The second one is inspired by the beginning of Too Much Too Young by the specials. Uh, it's not that I'm not going around the kit in the same way. I'm going to just do, I'm going to sort of present it as if on the snare drum. You can play it around the kit any way you like. So this one, you could think of it starting on the and of beat four and basically has a little four stroke rough, like left, right, left, right. The left, right, left, quite a little note are like a lead in to the right stick, which is on beat one. So one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Classic uh, scar sound. And then that would lead to one and two and a three. And two E and a three and four. And I've decided to put a bass drum here on the end of beat three. And the four will be a classic reggae style sound of a snare and a crash together on beat four. So, so one and two and three and four. Okay, and the last one, similar start. Uh, again, this is inspired by Bad Manners, uh, Sally Brown. Love that tune. So it's going to go. I think on the Bad Manners one, it goes like three kick drums, but I think as a, 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 a more usable version that perhaps you could use all over the place. One and two, three and four. So you actually play the same basic rhythm twice here of one and two, three and four. So just one and two, three and four, but you're setting up the one and the three each time, again with those three little grace notes, making a little four stroke rough, left, right, left, right, left, right. So, and a good way to think of it, especially when you're getting started, is start those three grace notes on the and of the previous beat. So the and of beat four and the and of beat two. So one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Just a bit of fun. I can't stress enough. They're just, just three to get you going. Perhaps if you haven't played this music a load, a load before, I feel like those little phrases might just get you in the 
mindset a little bit of how the drum feels punctuating this style of music and how it might work. I'll recap them real quick. Number one. Here we go. One, two. One, two. Number two, one and two and three and four. And number three. Sorry, I played that a bit rubbishly. Here we go. Again, all these are is little suggestions of rhythms, of phrases to play, orchestrate them around the kit any way you like. There's no particular need to copy the way I've phrased them, just, just getting into those rhythms. Ba 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 for number one. Uh, number two, da 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 boom, psh, especially that crash and snare at the end, classic. And then number three, da 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 dum dum dum, psh. Even if you had those three up your sleeve, you'd be able to play something that feels and sounds authentic for this style of music. Like I say, we're just trying to capture that vibe, and it's a really kind of niche but really cool thing to nail down is it that mixture of the Jamaican early ska influence and then the sort of punk rock late 70s influence coming together what an amazing joyous style of music so thanks for all the interest in ska I always make a point of asking when someone says ska like w which style of ska they mean I think colloquially like in the UK anyway if somebody says ska especially if they're n it's funny but especially in my opinion in my experience if they're not a musician they almost always mean two-tone like revi second wave revival ska from 70s and 80s a musician saying ska you never know they might mean jamaican ska 50s and 60s they might mean uh second wave two-tone or they might even mean like third wave ska american like rock ska but um yeah it's always worth asking it's funny how colloquially in this country ska if someone just says it, it probably means that middle period but with a, when a musician says it, you've got to sort of ask a bit, uh, a bit more questions in order to get to it. It's really interesting, isn't it? Um, I'm not. And the, the one thing I never quite get is why the ska music, so called from the 70s and 80s, was labelled as ska as opposed to reggae. I suppose it is sometimes labelled rock steady as well. I wasn't never quite get the exact reference to ska as opposed to the reggae thing. But w whatever, man. It's just, it just who cares about labels eventually? Uh, it's, it's just words, isn't it? It doesn't really matter. So enjoy that. Shout out to all the amazing uh, channel members who asked about ska. Hopefully, hopefully that'll get you started. I'll do some more about the beats uh, soon. And um, I've got a couple of good gigs coming up actually with the ska band. So hopefully I'll, um, maybe on, over on Instagram, I'll post a few uh, clips if, um, if that's cool with the band. I'll try and take some little footage of us playing thanks a million for watching as always really appreciate it please like share and subscribe if you found these videos helpful useful or enjoy them in any way and you'd like to support this channel please consider uh, buying me a coffee you can do that via my buy me a coffee support page or you can also become a channel member at the same page as a channel member uh, you'll for 10 pounds a month you're supporting this channel uh, like crazy and helping it grow thanks a million for all the new channel members coming in all the time and doing that i'll also be on hand for you to help you with your drumming so you can um i'll write for you a a personalized practice plan if you want one we can get together do a zoom session complimentary zoom session or face-to-face -face session or like i was talking about yesterday in fact i'll just record you if, if you give me details about where you're at with your drumming and where you want to go i'll write the, as best i can a, a starting point for you as a practice plan i'll do a little video talking through it a personal video for you and then you can um we can work together from there and formulate it towards uh you know my advice anyway as to where you might what you might practice on a regular basis to uh, head where you want to with your drumming just from my perspective which is all i can ever talk from and um thanks for all the interest in that like i say you also get a load of other stuff uh, members videos uh, breakdowns of the drum covers that i put up notation and practice along versions for these type of videos so over on the channel members page now i'll have the notation for each of these fills plus the uh I tend to use GrooveScribe, the amazing Mike Johnson's bit of software, GrooveScribe, I tend to write all these fills out in there so you can practice along with them, change the tempo, um, you know, groove along with them. And I'll do things like here, I'll do 
you know, three bars of groove, one bar of drum fill in that practice along format so you can groove these and work with them. I'll also answer your questions anytime. Uh, um, you can just message me anytime you like as a channel member. You can send your practice videos over. I'll give you feedback again as best as I can and uh, just be on hand to help you uh, in as many ways that I can. Uh, if that sounds like it will be of interest, details above or below, depending on where you're watching this, it'll say buy me a coffee slash become a channel member here. And thanks for watching. Enjoy your scar. See you soon. Cheers.